Hey guys and welcome to this new class in the electrical system of an aircraft. Today we will be discussing electrical generators. Right, so first of all the generators that we have in aircraft are two mainly, okay, generator number one and generator number two, which are located in each one of the aircraft. Again, if in each one of the engines, sorry. Again, if we have um, an, an aircraft which has four engines, for instance, we will probably see that this schematic changes to generator one and two and generators three and four, because it usually per each one of the engines we will get a generator, okay? In addition to that, we also have the APU generator and the emergency generator, which we'll discuss in another class. For now, we will just be discussing what the generator one and two do, okay, which are the basic ones. Right, so talking about generators, the first thing that we need to understand is that we actually use what is called an integrated drive generator or IDG. Now, the idea for generators is that we will use the rotation, the energy, the mechanical energy of rotation of the um, compressor and the turbine, okay, of the engine, to actually move at a certain speed in order to get some rotational velocity, rotational mechanical energy, in order to produce electrical energy, right? So one of the first things that we see if we want to do this is that by changing the amount of you know the amount of force the thrust that we want to get out of the engine we might be actually changing also the velocity of rotation of the engine okay and changing the velocity of rotation means that our generator would actually be producing more or less electric um, energy due to the fact that our engine is moving faster or not as fast okay so basically what happens is that we might have differences in velocity rotational velocity and we have to correct those differences right how do we do this well this is where the integrated drive generator comes in okay what we have is basically a combination of a constant speed drive and a generator so mainly from the engine we get the mechanical energy from that mechanical energy we transform that energy into a constant speed rotation okay by means of using a mechanical tool which allows for any variable rotation to actually match the 400 hertz rotation that we need for our generator okay and by providing this constant speed which is a way of transforming the variable speed to a constant speed as i mentioned we are actually capable of using a generator which will always give the same values okay that is 400 hertz in this case it's 115 volts and three phased okay right so these are f uh, several models of aircrafts with different types of uh, idgs okay which mainly as you can see the generators might produce for instance two because we have two engines times 90 kilovolts ampere okay this is the power or either in, in the case of maybe for instance 747 which is has four engines you can see that it provides four times 90 kilowatts ampere okay so the idea is that by using the engine we get a rotation this rotation then is transformed to come into constant speed and this constant speed can generate you know will allow us to generate all the time the same values okay right so what are the fundamentals of generators so first of all what we need to understand is that our generator will be based on a three-phased system okay this is the three conductors will each carry an alternating current of the same frequency and voltage amplitude relative to a common reference okay but with a phase difference of one-third of a cycle now this phase difference simply means that the geometry of our transform sorry of our generator will look like something like this okay where we have clearly divided into three main axes okay coils our our generator right so again by using these uh, three phased what we get is three times more power using 1.5 times more wires okay this is compared to a two phased version which would be considering a neutral 
another many considerations that we have to do to to actually use a two-faced model so in this case it will be a three-faced three-faced always also because it balances forces right because as you can see it's symmetrical so it balances all the forces that we might that might appear due to the generation of um, of an electromagnetic force and also we have a smooth torque in the sense that we don't have we would have uh, it's not only symmetrical but it also kind of resembles something which is robust okay so that provides a smooth torque meaning that there's no problem in terms of momentum for our engine for instance right so what else to say okay so this is the what you would see in as the basic idea of what the generator looks like and this is another appro uh, approach okay so I'll try to explain clearly with this GIF over here right so what we have is a magnetic coil sorry a magnetic a magnet okay which is in the middle and which is rotating this is usually called the rotor okay and what we have on the outside is what is called the stator okay which is fixed it is fixed at all times and by moving the rotor which will be basically moving because of the fact that we have the mechanical energy coming from the engine okay we are actually capable of providing a magnetic field which is moving and as you probably know from physics a moving a changing magnetic field will induce some electrical current okay so this is the way that we can ex actually generate electrical current from a moving magnet right as you can see we have three phases in this case i think it's just phase two phase three and phase one which is not visible but it would be over here okay the red the yellow and the blue systems which are three independent systems really right so the thing is that again it's the same schematic only that you can see in this case how this actually matches into an alternating current but it's actually multiplied by three why because we have the three uh, systems okay the three phases right so this is basically what I wanted to say in terms of a generator the fundamentals of generators and here's what it would look like physically if you were to work on an aircraft you would see something like this for the constant speed driver again it might vary a bit because uh, we're talking about the IDG and the design of the IDG has changed quite a lot depending on the aircraft and the generator would look something like this okay this is the stator that we were talking about before and this you can see the coils which would provide the three phase generation of electrical currents okay so with this we can go to the next class